you who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. You have a you what? I have boy, you sure have to go a lot. It's the only entertainment I have. Hmm, I better take you to see the doctor. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you going to use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. I still don't understand how they can eat through a sucker. They've got the spleen mixed up with the liver. It opens automatically. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. Alone. Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? Oh gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the hair competition in the bag. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your owner's going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Well then, good luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? They both seem to be very happy about something. Hi. That might get a rise out of them, but I don't want to attract too much attention. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. Boy, I wish I had a tentacle costume or something, but I can't even sew. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. I'm afraid he'd overpower me.
Okay, I flushed it. There's something in there. There's something in the chronogon. Dr. Fred said not to flush living things. It's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Yoo-hoo! 
face it back. You what? Ooh. Again? Looks like a paint by numbers picture of sushi. No way could I reach that. be on my ugly way. Thank you. I don't know how much more I could take. I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. I think I'm going to kill you. Now, now, you're never gonna get into the human show with that attitude. Not to mention that face. Well, I gotta go arrange your death now. You really should get some professional help. I already have a therapist. I was thinking more like a beautician. 